All right, you're looking at a joke. You're looking at a fucking practical joke, April Fool's level thing that Zeus bought because I listen to my patrons, I really do. There's a patronist chat, and I'm pretty sure the person there was like, dude, all over my campus, college guy, all over my campus, everyone's using these fucking Marshall Major 3s, they look so stupid. And I looked them up, I didn't, you know, I haven't looked up Bluetooth headphones off, and I saw them, and I'm like, wait, there's a little tiny square on here? Oh, I'm gonna destroy these. All right, let's 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 get them. Let's use them. Stomach them for as long as possible, and then when I'm absolutely at my angriest, I'll fuck these over in a review. I'm sorry to say I'm not gonna be doing that. These are fucking great. Holy shit! Is this a popular product that doesn't suck dick? I mean, look, look. I'm look. I got a thing with big headphones can we just compare like uh, okay n no like the all oh no like there's these are these are fucking small with an o and they're square which i mean i haven't looked at many years in my day Th that is a half of a single knuckle of a hole that's number one. It's a square fucking pad on a square fucking headphone that looks like it's just flimsy as They're perfect. I'm a believer. No, Marshall did not pay me. Yes, I bought these with my own money. No one's telling me to say any of this shit. I just, I'm fucking legitimately astonished. Because I've heard things about the Mar- I have that other, that set there. See that? They suck. Come here. Good, hold that fucking one. You, you were sent to me by the company that does the um, DSP corrections. <sighs> so long ago that you're covered in dust. And you know what? They suck. Those suck. So I wasn't expecting much when I got the Marshall Major 3s. I was like, oh, they're going to be suck, but with Bluetooth. And I am fucking genuinely impressed by every aspect. The comfort, the build... The control scheme, the colors. I mean, it's available in three colors. Black, which is like that one. This brown, which I'm like, you know what? The world needs more earth tones. So let's get the brown ones, which look fucking, they look good. The lighter brown in here, it, it's like the double vinyl. It, it's very soft. It's a brown. And then white for the people who want to go full apple themed. But you could, and I take them out of the box, and it's like, all right, well, let's, how are these things built? And it's like, oh, that's a really well, well put together headband. Okay, established 1962. Marshall's known for the like guitar amps and shit. Not headphones, fucking Marshall head. Fuck, 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 do this every episode. Is this? Can the algorithm see me doing this? No. Good. So it's like, all right, well, there's just metal bars, and they're like, like, but, but, oh, well, that, you know, that works. That's, that, that's a strong, that's strong. That is a strong. Oh, look at that folding system. That, it's plastic with a little metal notch that goes to click. That, that, that doesn't, that doesn't break. And then they wiggle like this. But that's what you, you need them to do that because there's no mechanism for this adjustment. So it's like, oh, okay, so this will fit. But the pads have got to be uncomfortable, right? And you, you touch them and it's like, you know what? These are fucking soft. The outside here is the same vinyl as here. Actually, it probably is a little bit softer. And it's it's not very thick. You get like, it looks like it's about 5 eighths of an inch, but it doesn't collapse that far. You can see it ends right about there. But the clamp is so light. And then this part being as soft as it is, this is like, I don't know, you ever rub the underside of a dangerous snake that's what this feels like it's like oh that's that's relatively soft and then the hole doesn't matter it's it's fucking on here so you get them on your head and all of a sudden it's like that it's no more annoying than most on ears if not a little more comfortable and it's very noise canceling like this amp this doesn't is there not active noise canceling this is just a the fact that it's a closed headphone that covers your ear entirely, you know, I hear my voice very muffled. And it's like, oh, well, these are these are really comfortable. And then 
You have to turn them on and control them. And I've reviewed a shit fuck ton of Bluetooth controlled headphone things. These are new Fios, those are the Shivers. And all of them have like multiple switches and buttons and you gotta remember where the switch is and the button. And if it's like, wait, no, 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 it's three buttons and you gotta remember that this one is paused with a little notch and then you feel it and you try to feel up. You're feeling up the side of your head or the Sony, the bows with the sticks and the Sony's with the th One metal knob. One, that's it. There's a headphone jack for the wire it comes with in case you wanna wire it wired. We'll talk look, look the wires accessories in a second. A USB micro, not C. I wish it was USB C, but it's USB micro power plug, and this brass control knob, and it is a joystick. Um, up is volume, down is volume. Next track, last track, play pause, slight hold. Well, if you have it connected to your phone right now, I'm connected to this Tautronics um, sender receiver, which is going fiber optic. It's showing me it's connected via aptX, not LDAC, but not a lot of things are LDAC right now anyway. So you can literally put these on and then go, next track, louder, pause, unpause, and then last track. Or it's, wait, it's, it's up, down, next, last, hold, to do voice activation on your phone. So you could be like, oh, hey Google, where's my uh, packages? And it'll tell you. And it... Where's the microphone hole there? There's no LED at all. So there's actually, there's an LED right. Holy shit, it's so small, you can't even see it. This stick, if I could pick it up and put it on every Bluetooth headphone I've ever reviewed, every headphone I review from now on that's Bluetooth. The shivers, which sound amazing, the new Fios, they all suck. They don't have this stick. So the build is remarkably resilient, like remarkably, re like perfect college level resilience on the headphone. They're comfortable. The left and right is literally written out right and left. They don't look terrible. I mean, you look a little weird with a little tiny square in your head, but Let's face it, not everyone can walk outside with ironwood virate closed and be accepted into society. Then you have this control thing that's the best control thing. If you buy these for no other reason today, then because of that control thing, I will not blame you. Hey, these sound like shit, but look how you control it. With one very simple metal brass fucking joystick. Sold. Fucking sold. Fucking sold. And then, nine and a half minutes into the review, eight minutes, I'm hoping it's like six, but I'm gonna say nine and a half minutes into this review. You put them on finally and we talk about how they sound, which I have it playing off the computer, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, I made it very loud, hold on, lower. Oh, that's, Got soundstage and not murderous treble. It's not muffled. The bass is a little bit extra, like a little bit of, mm. there's a 40 millimeter driver in here. You know what else has a 40 millimeter driver? My fucking Neumann's has a 40 millimeter driver. I think the M40Xs have a 40 millimeter driver. Usually when you hear 40 millimeter driver in a full size headphone, you go, oh, that's too fucking small. How'd they even get it in here? I would have assumed smaller than 40, but they've squeezed essentially like a small block V8 into this. The most compact of cars. Crowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am. I don't, I don't understand. How have people found that these are good and then made them popular without me telling them? And here's the thing, I know what happens in society. This is a societal thing, breakdown right now. Um, AirPods are popular. Everyone sees people with AirPods. Everyone who is in the audiophile community automatically hates AirPods. Now, I haven't personally listened to a set for more than like three seconds. Because Princess Boss takes them, puts them in here, said, listen to this. And I'm like, eh. And I, I was, eh, away. So I'm looking for alternatives to that. But now everyone sees Marshall Major 3s on people, and they're like, oh, fuck you, Marshall Majors, we're, we're real audiophiles. 
and no one gives them a goddamn chance, but it's my job to give them a chance. I bought these, they're a write-off. They will not be ending up in a yard sale. I do the yard sales on the Patreon and Subscribestar. And they will not be there because I'm probably keeping these forever. They are the smallest, most easy to control, 30 hour battery life, Aptex, com I'm saying the word comfortable. I have on ear head, I have over ear headphones that are less comfortable than these. And then they sound good, like comparable. Like, join the ranks of the Civga 006s and the fucking Tackstar Pro 82s. Like, $100. Well, I didn't even tell you the price. I should have not even tell you the price. Just make it $69.99. They're not even like Apple rip you off money. There's been one of those um, Master Dynamics that are like $250, $400. Buy them for life. Made in China. Who gives a shit then? If, if, $69.99 is like Walmart money. They'd be the most expensive pair at Walmart, but they'd still be Walmart money. The, look, this whole bridge comes tumbling down if they don't sound good. And they fucking sound good. They do nothing offensive to my ears. I put I put said headphone on. You, you, you wiggle it, you get it sort of like on the ear. You don't want it to like bend your ear back. If your ears get pushed back, that's going to make it uncomfortable. Just put forward like just have it like just sort of like sit there Lira Lynn lately got a nice good like low end punch let's put it up a little bit I don't have to look for the volume button it's this knob it's there down look look up if I was doing next track if I had the thing I could do next track if I was doing last track I could do last track if I hold it for a second I could turn them off you literally can take them off your head and hold the button just per and it's off. I think they're a little bit bassier here. Let's plug them in with the attached cable, which is a three and a half millimeter. Now they're being powered off the THX789. And I don't hear a blatant increase in sound quality. There is a slight tone change. I'm pausing it for a second. I think there's a slight tone change because they're DSP correcting these. There's less bass. They're a little more neutral. They still sound as good, but just less low end. If I unplug this again, and then I also love the fact that it doesn't say power on. It's just, here, wait. I'll see if I can get to it. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to try to do this. Button. That's it. That's the, those are the extent of the onboard sounds. They don't have to make it speak. It should reconnect to this. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to have to go without it for the rest of this review. But there's nothing else to, to talk about. It doesn't come with a bag. It doesn't. It comes with a... Oh, by the way, I love the fact that all the cables match the color. In fact... You get the brown one, and I don't know if this is true. If you have a different version, please tell me. I'm assuming that the brown cable comes with the brown one. And then the brown USB cable. They didn't need to match the USB cable. And look at the strain relief on this. What are they... How long do you think that's going to last? Like, forever. Forever and a day. So these are the most strain relief USB cables. Then the fucking wire tie for it was brown. Like, either that's attention to detail, or they just know something that I don't. Hold on, let me... Turning it off. When you want to pair it, you turn it on, you hold it. It goes do 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 do, and you keep holding it. It goes do do, and then it's pairing. So it should pair to this now. Get that going. Um, I had it paired to my phone. My phone is here. I had it paired to my phone, and immediately when I turned it on, I forgot to shut off Bluetooth on my phone. It was paired to my phone. Like, I've never had a device do that as fast as these did. Usually, I turn it on, and it's like searching, and it's like, well, do I want to connect? Instant. I have all, I have basically nothing bad to say about these. Which is strange for a little square brown headphone that costs $70. If they co Let's see, what would I com complain about? I, I guess these should have like a, a, a thing to hook them together like that, so you could put them in your bag like that. 
because they don't like hook together. I mean, I guess you could wear them like a pendant if you put something in here. I would complain if these were $200. I'd be like, they're a little bit overpriced for their build. But at the same time, I've dealt with $200 headphones that are A, not as comfortable, and B, don't sound as fucking good as these. I don't understand. How did these slip by the, the mass? These have not slipped by the masses. You're poor, you're hungry, you're ignorant masses. Is that the way that they, the, the ignorant masses figured this out? Somehow there's a headphone that people want to buy that an audiophile could legit put on their head and enjoy. It's, I don't understand. It's great. This, these are great. These are fucking great. All right? They do nothing wrong. They do not, they do, you could do this to them all day and then beat them on the table and they'll still be fine because they're built to do that. They know their audience. Marshall knows their audience and then somehow stumbled upon great sound too. And comfort. Like that's, I, I applaud them wholeheartedly. I, I don't even know what you do to increase, you can't increase comfort. It's just, this is it. These pads are a perfect amount of stiffness and softness and materials and the headband design with the, with the exposed wire is fine because it's on the inside and it folds. And that control knob, oh, if they own a fucking patent on that, they should just, for the good of humanity, they should cancel the patent. Just, just let it out. Please, Marshall. Please let it out. Just l let all these other Bluetooth headphones just use that joystick. Because they need it. They need it to live. It'll make my life so much easier because I'm just going to keep referring to the stick. Fucking Bose should have a stick. This should have been a Bose idea. Or a Sony idea. Or another $500 goddamn Bluetooth headphone. Not Marshall. I mean, you could put it one on either side and have them do different functions. But the, the stick, the, the stick is beautiful. Stick beautiful, stick's beautiful. Uh, I'm done with this review. Uh, Bluetooth headphones don't get a sound demo. Especially ones like this because it's you can't get a fifteen hundred dollar Neumann microphone in here in a way that it doesn't sound like it's destroying itself. So um, you're gonna have to take my word for it. Plus I have like one, two, three, four, five. I think there's another one over there. Six. I have like seven different Bluetooth headphones that I got to get through, and I don't think taking up two weeks of the next month and a half is gonna be proper if I do it with sound demos. So for $69.99, I'd say get them in brown. I, I don't know how they, I feel like brown is like the color to get them in. Look at them. If you get them in brown, you can get a, let, a marker and write the Z on top of it. So you know that I sent you. Do. Fucking, these are a do. And I didn't buy them with that intention. I bought them because, oh, everyone says they're popular. So that means Zeus has to come in and tell them what's fucking what. Well, you know what? There's your LED. There's your singular LED. And then it turns red and fades away. Beautiful thing. It's, it's weird when I get something that's like completely unexpected. I love the, I'm super excited. Unexpected joys of the life of Zeos. Hey everyone, look, I found a little tiny square headphone that's comfortable and sounds amazing. That's it, am I done? You gonna download that wallpaper now? I'll link to the Taltron extender in case you wanna wander around the house because this thing is what I use for my live stream. So I can leave this in my kitchen and go in both apartments and outside and it's fine. Uh, obviously link to these in whatever color you want down below. That wallpaper, if you wanna crop it, put it on your phone, that's in the description. All wallpapers are available to uh, either patrons or subscribe star people when you sign up. Uh, $5 tiers get you these reviews early. They also get you into the yard sale. If I was selling these, that would be able to bid $8.18. And then I would ship free continental United States or half shipping international if you live in New Zealand or Poland or New Poland. There's a New Poland, right? I think there's a New Poland. Well, either way, that. And then the $10 uh, supporter tiers get you into the private Telegram chat, which is the behind the scenes chat where people knew the moment I fell in love with these two and a half, three weeks ago, I was like, dudes, watch out for these Marshall Major 3s. They are awesome. They don't have to wait for my reviews. They literally just sit in my brain on my phone. 
and get all this stuff early. So I'm done with this. I'm gonna pack this away. I'm, I, I feel like I really need to carry this around just because it'll be the most longevity USB cable ever. And uh, the, the, fuck, fucking, the, fucking this. Yeah, fucking this. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? I didn't. And I thunk lots of things. All right, I'll see you for another review tomorrow. Probably not of something as good as this. Price to performance. Price to comfort. Price to fucking brass knobs, joysticks.